So today our plan is to get the whole of the inside plasterboarded, ready for the plaster on Monday. Um, we started on the ceiling, we'll do that first. And then we've got uh, OSB board, 18 millimeter OSB board to put on the sides to take the weight for the television and the heater and such things, any heavy uh, things that have been screwed to the wall. And then we can plasterboard all the sides. And so by the end of today, you'd expect it to be fully plasterboarded? Fully plasterboarded, yes. And next? After that, then Gary comes in, he's the plasterer, he'll be in on Monday, and that will all be plastered, ready for, uh, then once that's dry, that can be painted, and then uh, we can also come in, once it's plastered, to do the laminate flooring and the um, decking on the outside area. So we put expansion foam above the door. It keeps it tight and fixed, as well as stopping any um, air leakages through as well. Okay, halfway through the day. So all the ceiling's done, the back wall's done. We've put the OSB board on the side walls, so as to take the weight, and that's gonna be plasterboarded over now. And coming along the front, just bringing through all the wires as well, through the plasterboard, ready for the electrician, and yeah. So what's that you've got in your hand there, Christian? So on these, on these windows, we have a hole here. This is a trickle vent, it's called. It's just so that we put that on there. It allows air to come in. You can block it off or you can open it up. That just let, allows air to come in. Most windows need to have this these days to uh, qualify for an A-rated window. So end of the day, and where are we up to? So end of the day, we've got it all plasterboarded. So that's all ready for Gary now to plaster. Yeah, so Gary will tape all the joints, every joint around and in the corners, and then put the angle beads on all the corners, on the external corners, um, and then it's all ready for plastering. <laughs>